<laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audrey at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. Happy New Year, my little bats, my little spiderlings. How are you? I hope yours was as good as mine. I went to bed promptly at 9 p.m. As I should. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is time for the first new makeup nonsense bingo of the new year. All right, I don't know what the shimmies were about, but we're gonna roll with it. This is a super fun concept created by my dear friend, Emily Hanhan, who has done this for uh, since its inception with my other dear friend, Teresa of Teresa is Dead. Now, I know some of you are sitting here like, I feel like, this should have happened last week. And you would be right. You would be right. However, Teresa suffered a setback. Teresa's camera. <sighs> the less we say about it, the better. But it's working now, and it's fabulous, and now we're all three here together. Obviously, Emily and I would be fools to do this without our dear friend, Teresa, because it's a threesome. <laughs> And you don't just like turn a threesome into a twosome unless you're boring. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Why am I like this? Because it's a Saturday that I have off and that never happens, bitch. It's happened twice in a row. Won't happen again, but I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of it while I can. Oh, right. So this video is going to be a little bit funky because I previously filmed this, but there were new things that showed up. So it's going to be interspersed with footage from that I filmed previously, as well as footage from this. So you get two looks for the price of one, which is zero dollars. All right. I don't know why I'm like this, but let's go on ahead and show what we're working with today. <laughs> All right, it's, and I'm sure you're wondering to yourself, how, Audra, how would you know the difference in the images put into the folder? Teresa, I'm about to out your secret. Teresa doesn't put their phone on night mode. I know, I don't understand it either. Like my, every, everything I have, my, my laptop's on night mode. Like when I look at YouTube, night mode. Twitter, night mode. Instagram, night mode. Teresa over here just bright, like living life on the brightest edge of the world, and for that, I love you, boo. As per usual, I will not be playing the traditional bingo game. What I will be doing is going through the products that I can talk about and would like to talk about, whether it's to trash them or to love them. And I'm gonna show you my bingo card, which is here. And what I'd like for you to do is screenshot my bingo card, let me know when and how I got bingo. And then if you could, at me on Instagram so I can see my bingos. Cause the bingo isn't the point of the game. Isn't it? I know. You're like, but it's called bingo. You know what? It's time for you to mind your Yay. business. Anyway. I do have a candle for you today. I know. You're waiting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Yeah. <sighs> today is Bath and Body Works Mahogany Coconut. I lit this last night, and when I tell you, it smells like what I think that Michelle Wong's house smells like. Like wealth, affluence. It smells like it has a 401k and it is doing very, very well. Like it just made me, I got transported into like luxury. I was like, yes, bitch. I was calling for my non-existent butler and like, what? So yeah, if you want like that very like rich, luxurious, like I'm wealthy, not rich, Mahogany coconut is for you. All right, so typically new makeup nonsense bingo is in fact a drinking game and a bingo game and a will I buy it and it's so fun. Uh, I, however, it is 7.53 a.m. and it is very foggy out and I felt like coffee and a fancy 
fancy look. So why does my head look so big on my, listen, we're going to let it go. I have a big head. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having my coffee, like I said earlier, and I'm going to be just going through and kind of picking things that I want to talk about. So that way I don't miss anything. And I'm just going to start this off with an, a literal bang. Um, <laughs> I'm like with a literal bang y'all. I don't even know what to say about this because it like genuinely hurts my heart when I look at it. Who thought it would be a good idea? Like, real talk, I just want to know who was like, yes, Cheetos. <laughs> and not even any Cheetos, flaming Hot Cheeto Lip Scrub. For why? <laughs> now this is coming to us from Taste Beauty. I just don't get it. It's $6, I don't, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Flamin' Hot, I, do, I just can't imagine getting ready for bed, right? And I'm like, I'm gonna get ready for bed, okay? And then I'm gonna scrub spicy sauce on my lips. Does that make sense to anyone? Like, does that make sense to anybody? Is it just me? It doesn't even make sense. Why would, it, like, I get like the Pez, I guess I get the Pez lip balms. That makes sense. Even like the Nerds lip balm. I just don't understand why you would have a lip scrub that is flaming Hot Cheetos. Like it sounds awful. I just don't understand it. Like what in the world is happening with these collabs as of like, like I just, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't unsee it. The whole point of a lip scrub is that it's delicious and fun. Not setting your lips on fire so that you have actual spicy butthole lips. Like what the actual fuck? Are you okay? Cause you're sweating pretty profusely. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I always react this way to spicy food. <laughs> For that reason, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna call this like just, I feel like this is just another one of those weird ass collabs. Nobody asked for this. Nobody wanted it to happen. Um, I because it doesn't say it's a collab, but like obviously it is. Uh, so that's a no from me, dog. I just want to live my best life. Yep, Nate illustrates says it best. Spicy lip scrub is so ill conceived. I can't even imagine what that would feel like. Oh, I can. I can. <laughs> and then I'm gonna leave y'all with this. And then we're moving on to the next product. Big Booty Julie X said, why has God abandoned us? Why indeed, Big Booty? Why indeed? <laughs> Next. I feel like this is a re-release, which is the Jade and Beauty Bay Palette. Here's what I'm gonna say. I, I, no, no tea, no shade, nothing to, I already have this. I have two Beauty Bay palettes and I feel very confident that all of that together uh, is, is a thing. Um, and I, again, please don't get mad if you are a lover of Jade, whom I don't know who that is, and I don't want to hear any shit about it. I don't know it, who everyone is in this beauty space. It's vast and it's large. Uh, I would like to say sorry, but I am not. So, <laughs> but I do, and I'm going to double check because I really, like, I looked at that and I thought like, oh, that looks really familiar. But it was, um, it's a 42 color palette. And I, I just think that if you wanted to get your hands on this and you hadn't yet, you know, go for it. Um, congrats to Jade. I'm not one to really, I try not to shit on other people's collabs and that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to hope that for 2022, perhaps we collectively can calm down these big, big palettes with every color. I just, I feel like, especially with collaborations, I think, my opinion, nobody eat me up. You can tussle in the comments, but you can't be hateful. My thought process is this. I think sometimes as creators, we worry that we might alienate some of our fan base, right? So if you're a neutral bitch, like, you know, when Raw Beauty Christie did the pure one, if you're a neutral bitch, instead of just remaining neutral, you try to throw all the colors in. Same the other way. 
you're a colorful bitch, you try to throw other bunches of neutral shades in so that you can uh, sell out or break the internet. First of all, we don't like it when y'all break the internet. We're done with that. We are leaving that in the past. That is very obnoxious, annoying, and irritating. Nobody needs that kind of ridiculous stress of sitting there waiting for something to go on sale, shaking and sweating like you're having withdrawals. Like this is an unnecessary part of the community. What I'm getting at though, is I think that maybe we can, you know, brands should rain rain in the creator just a schmitch and maybe not let us go wild but i think it's a beautiful palette that's all i'm saying y'all know how i am about small color stories jade i wish you all the best congratulations on that collab that you did have and i'm sorry i didn't know who you were so yay for you and we're gonna move on i think the swatches are actually quite lovely all that stuff it's pretty it's just like it's a lot for me it's a lot it's a it's a lot it's a lot for me a lot all right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage SPF 15. It is a transfer resistant formula that I don't believe that, but it's a transfer resistant formula and it's supposed to deliver up to 24 hours of skin hydration with a soft focus effect and take technology. It smooths and blurs imperfections infused with snow mushroom, mushroom extract. Don't mind those weird ass noises that my stomach is making. It's just hungry. Um, so I would actually try that honestly, uh, because first of all, I love, I love, 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 love foundation. Listen, Maybe I got on my Pat McGrath today and I actually have on um, my hourglass concealer because bitch I paid for it and I'm gonna use it. So like I love a good base. I love like, look, look at how luminous I look today, bitch. Anyways, the point is I'm interested in trying it because I just think that it would actually be nice. Like I know that people are making fun of it I get it. It's the same way that I make fun of Urban Decay and Naked. Like, that's their brand. I hate it because I want it to move away from that, but I get it too. I understand branding. It's a good time. So, looking at just like, I actually have um, their Sugar Rush SPF, and I really like it. I've been wearing it pretty, I wore it like all summer. When I work, when I was at work, well, I still work. I wore it all summer because I worked outdoors. So I started wearing that almost all summer because it had SPF in it. I doubled it with my SPF from, don't try to math me. Don't try to math me. I also had SPF in my moisturizer. So I was like, yes, bitch. And I was doing it and it actually looked very, very nice. It looked like my skin, but better. And I'd be interested in trying this because I know that it's, I know it's foundation again, but I'd actually be interested in trying it. It does have, I can't tell on the shade range because they've, yeah, yeah, that's it. The first four are virtually the same. What I would say is that the two in the middle are like, I mean, it looks the same. Y'all, <laughs> am I wrong or <laughs> did they actually do better with the mid and dark shades than they did on the light shades? This is the first time that I've looked, y'all, I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. Wait, like, <laughs> did they actually be like, oh, <laughs> so sorry, light girlies. Like, it's, it's for the brown girls now. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm kind of laughing. I don't mean to, but it's like also kind of funny. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, they did better getting into like mid-tones and browns than they did with the light skin, I, I, anyways, I'm probably gonna try it. 53N is looking about the shade that I would enjoy. You know I'm gonna buy this, you know it. You know I have to buy it and come back and tell y'all if it's good or not and add it to my um, foundation station because I have a lot of foundations. And like I've said before, believe it or not, I be trading my, I wear my Pat McGrath to work sometimes. That's how fucking dedicated I am to messing with this shit. And it actually, let me just tell you, after a, 12 hour day, about 75, 80 degrees. Still holds up, looks good. Yo, Milani is in this like very like, they have entered their fancy bitch era, all right? So, 
They've come out with lipsticks, it looks like. it's. They have new lip, matte lipstick shades. Uh, they have a gilded flora eyeshadow palette, eyelashes, a, a setting spray, which I don't actually really like their setting sprays, I'm gonna say that. A, a flora tinted lip balm, a gilded gilded flora shadow sticks. I don't like shadow sticks, y'all. Like sometimes I like them, but most of the time I don't. I think I like them when I think about them in a convenient term, like, oh, you just take a few of these with you on vacation, but who the fuck's going on vacation anymore anyway? Me, I don't wanna talk about it. Anyways, and then they have like lip oils. Just, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes on there, right? I First of all, I have never tried Milani's eyeshadow formula. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. I. I love the lippies though. There's one here that's purple and like another one that's like more of a, like a deep lilac and I'm kind of feeling that. Like it's all very floral, very spring, which I know that everybody's like, I feel like everybody's trying to drop their spring releases as quickly as possible because they know we're going nowhere soon. Does that look like a Natasha Denona palette? Or am I losing my mind? Y'all let me know. I feel like it does look like that. Like what was that Natasha Denona? Oh, I have damn faulty memory. It does look like it. Let me look in the comments. Maybe somebody said it. Please hold. One debt to society later. That's it. Makeup underscore by underscore Mila. Mmm. The palette looks similar to the Natasha Denona trichrome, trichrome palette. You know what? Hats off to her. Hats off to her or them. Whatever they, hats off to them. That's what we're gonna say. By the way, y'all, it's really easy to just say them. Anyways, I am so happy. It does look like that. Okay. It, I, for, I'm gonna call that a copycat, but like, I would I would try it. It's not a super expense, it's 20 dollars. You know what, I'm not even gonna make that face because you're talking to a bitch who spends $34 on a face wash. So you know what? Audra, it's time for you to get off your high horse and start admitting that you're a bitch. So here's what I'm gonna say. I think I would maybe pick that up because I think it's pretty. I would like to try it, you know what I mean? I think I can go into a Walmart and pick it up. So. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. I love, I like their lip gloss formula. Hopefully it has not changed. And I don't really fucks with the eyeshadow sticks. I just don't. I always think that they're going to be convenient when you go out of town or whatever, but they're always like the same boring basic colors that I don't enjoy. And then I just feel like I never use them in real life because like I have my singles and I have my palettes and then somehow I just never get around to using the sticks. And by the time I do, it's hard as a rock. It's pretty intense. I've done this multiple times in my life because I got them a lot in beauty boxes. All right, so that's the that on that. I think it's very pretty, but I do think it's a dupe. The palette for sure is a dupe. Um, and so it's a copycat. All right. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is from the, it's on the Indie, indie Mood. I'm trying to remember to tell y'all where I'm looking so that you can go look too, but this is from the Collective Cosmetics, whom I am affiliated with. You can use my code below if you want to shop there. I'd appreciate it. Uh, so they have their first, it looks like, to me, I feel like it's their first palette, but they released a palette and it's called My Mind's Eye. And it's a beautiful color story. I feel like this is very much like a holiday e palette. It has a holiday e vibe. To me, to me, it does have a, because if, if you look at it, it's got like the, the greens and the reds and it just looks very holiday-y. I like the color story. I think it's actually quite nice. Although I do feel like there are a couple shades that are really similar to one another. And I'm not sure if it's because of how it's swatched here. Is it how, three, six, nine, 12, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Okay. I just can't count. I can't, I can't count. So there are 15 shades. I feel like there are a couple of shades that are fairly similar to one another in this collection, but I do think that I'd like to try this one because I think it's really pretty. I will say that they do have a drier formula, but I think that for me, I like that, especially if you are somebody who has like oily lids, then this might be a friend to you. Um, but then if you have drier lids, you may not enjoy this formula, but I like it. Uh, I have normal-ish lids. I don't know what my lids do, but I just put shit on them and hope that it works out. But I like this. I think it's really pretty. I like the packaging too. And it has a mirror. So that is a bonus. I don't know that I'm like wanting to slap it all over my face, but I definitely want, I want to try it. I want it. I feel like it's holiday-y, you know, very like, let's get ready for the goth new year. Okay, we're done. Going on to the next product. <laughs> now I've had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. 
Yes, I know the song to a movie I hate. Dirty Dancing has a collection coming up. It's called The Lift. I'm like, Dirty Dancing, like that's the, the brand of makeup. It's coming from Sola Look. It's a collab with Dirty Dancing. It is limited edition. It already released. I, okay, here's the thing. I think that tis pretty, the color story, you know? It's pretty in that regard. It, yeah, okay, in that regard, I'm like, okay. Here's the thing uh, that I, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to like find a way to be, uh, not, to, you can make two, two, perhaps three looks with this. And um, my overall feeling uh, is just kind of, it's gonna ship in February. Their pre-order is gonna ship in February. I, I don't like the movie. I really don't. I was never a fan. I like. I feel like I can't remember. I, I maybe I was. Maybe I did like to watch it, and then I watched it like one too many times. And I feel like maybe even when I was younger, I was just like. Why is he so old and she is 16? I, it always, even when I was younger, it bothered me. I was just like, ah, he's like a whole grown ass man. And like, her name is Baby. Anyways, like that, that whole situation always kind of freaked me out. I just feel like I don't need this in my life. Like I do love blue makeup and whatnot. I think it's quite lovely. Like I like, but I just don't, I, 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 I have all of this in my collection. I, I just really do. At this point you're buying it for the packaging. If you like blues, you have all of these blues. I li literally, I have a palette that has these blues in it. I just talked about it in a video. I just did the video about them. It's the Hauntingly Glamorous video. So I have uh, at least two of these shades in that palette. And then I have the other two and a couple other palettes. So I'm good on that. I just, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Like for, if you are into Dirty Dancing and this makes you think of Dirty Dancing and you want the packaging, you know what I mean? You do you. This is, this is, I'm going to take this quote and we're going to move, move around, move along because I feel like this person really gets it. Ground Renee, Ground Renee. I'm going to say Ground Renee says, love that classic movie, but honestly, not every film needs a palette. If it was a full on eyeshadow palette based on the colors mostly used from the film, that would be perfect, but this isn't it. That's it. I feel like they're just taking like a moment from the film and giving you a quad. And I just think that that's very, like, 20 and it's $25. So $450, $475. Listen, I don't math well. Because <laughs> I know that five times four is 20, but five times five is 25. So somewhere in the middle of that is where you, so it's not a lot per pan. And I know that they're large pans, but I just feel like you're getting this quad for a moment in the movie. And I would, I'd be more behind it and it would make more sense. Hence, if it was like a palette for the movie, not just like the lift. You know, they're like, this is the lift part where they're in the water, it's blue. Also, the water wasn't blue. It was... It's lake water. I just, <clears throat> I just wanna say that lake water isn't blue. It's, we're gonna move on. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is e.l.f. Elf has been like um, doing a lot of things. I feel like this is their answer to this, this. It's the, the Elf Power Grip Primer is I feel like gonna be their dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip. So I might pick that up so that I can compare and contrast. If you would like me to do so, drop one of those like fingers, the fingers that cross like that, drop those emojis so that I can do this because I, it's, it's gonna be elf, it's not gonna be super expensive. And listen, y'all know I love primers. Like I have so many of them and I interchange them because they all do different shit, but the same shit, some of them do the same shit, but some of them do different shit, you know what I mean? But uh, it's probably gonna be like $4. And so, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's $10, it's $10. Uh, but it's a gel-based, I like gel-based primers. I think it'll be nice. Uh, and then they have a, they have a super revitalized magnetic mask coming as a well, bitch. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. 
and that's $24. Listen, the science is about to happen, okay? It comes with a, please hold. Please hold while I access my account. We just picking this shit up right the fuck now. I'm buying it right now. We're gonna call it like already bought it. Um, because I, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Like, wait, there's a magnetic mask. Like you, y'all, you already know, you already know. I'm buying it. That's where we stand with that. And I like, that's gonna be the, the end of that. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna live my best life. Ooh, and there's a sale. Bitch, we about to party with Elf, okay? <laughs> Oh yes, you knew it would not be a new makeup nonsense if I didn't talk shit and or like love with Charlotte Tilbury. So what is now available on Beautylish, Spellfridges, and on Sephora as well is celebrating the Lunar New Year of the Tiger with a special limited edition packaging. First of all, I just want to say this out loud that this really doesn't give Tiger to me. I think that they should have put an actual Tiger on it my opinion or like the imprint of the tiger's face around the stripes because it just doesn't like y'all look at it and tell me if you're immediately if your immediate thought when you looked at that was like oh a tiger no it wasn't it wasn't you're lying if you say it does because i can feel you trying to like be on charlotte's side it's a brand not a friend so the thing is <laughs> i just i don't love the packaging at all like i just i don't get it um and for everybody making you know here's the thing there's so many people why not refillable why not refill it because they don't fucking want to they are corporations this is the problem this is what we're talking about this is why they they don't want to because they want to keep charging you for a new one of these every single time because here's the thing that's why you you buy this bougie ass makeup my opinion it's not that it, like most of it isn't that much more fantastic some is but most is not, but they're really charging you for this badass packaging and they won't be able to make money off of their badass packaging if they make it refillable and that's why they don't. So <laughs> I just don't, I just don't get it. I like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, all I can think this entire time is just like, I, I don't get it. I, I feel it. What are the, it, it, and sorry, I didn't even tell you. It's, it's just a finishing powder, y'all. This is the other thing. It is just a finishing powder. I am literally not going to spend that kind of money. Um, cause I haven't, do I have one by, um, Givenchy? Yes. I got it for free though. And influenced her. So that's different than spending my money on it. The point is, I just, I, I think if you like this and you want it, then get it. But like, please uh, don't be like me. I just, I hope, I, I may have recently, or I'm about to get rid of like virtually all but one, <laughs> one setting powder um, or finishing powder as they like to call it, because I just, I don't need more than one. Once you have one, you're, that's it. It's time to, even, even as a beauty content creator or someone who creates beauty content, I don't want more than one of those. Once I have one, I'm finished. Thank you. Have a nice day. Und nice day. Okay, I'm done now. So yeah, I don't, I'm, it's not for me. Like if, if this is for the stands, that's going to be, that needs to be like a, like a, like a square for the stands. Cause it's not for me. It's not for me. And you know what's weird is they keep showing it as being like, thick but it doesn't look thick like that and the other picture it's very odd very odd anyway that's their new year that's actually holiday bullshit that's what i'm gonna call it <laughs> we're not remember we're not playing bingo because i don't have time all right next up one thing i want to talk about is doja cat y'all <laughs> i don't know what's going on but doja cat and bh cosmetics like i feel like doja do they have your soul? If so, let me know. I can get it back because I don't understand this whole entire thing. I just, okay. I like, I don't even, okay. 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 I get Doja Cat. Like I, like I listen to a little Doja Cat. I'm not, you know, I'm old, but I'm not like super old, but I'm also not young enough to truly understand a lot of what what she's talking yeah so i don't know what happens there but i do 
feel like this just still, it's closer to her. It's closer, but it's still not. Um, they're just like under eye gel pads. Okay, okay all right. <laughs> and then um, a star milk light reflecting moisturizer and liquid eyeshadow. If, this is so all over the place. Do y'all not think that this is weird? There's body oil, a travel case, moisturizer, under eye gel pads, and liquid eyeshadow. One of these things is not like the other. All of these things do not belong. Like, I just, it's very odd. I feel like, um, are we gonna release skin care? Are we gonna release, what's happening? I don't, like, okay, hear me out. I get the dew drops and the moisturizer and the body oil together, right? And you can even throw the traveling case in there. And then there's just like liquid eyeshadows. Like, what the fuck do those have to do with anything? What? Am I wrong? I just think it's weird. It's, it's another celebrity collab, and I just, I don't, okay. But seriously. Hey, dude, I can get your soul back. Okay, thank you. Just call me. So. Uh, I <laughs> I don't even have words. What in the fuck is this? What in the actual fuck is this wheel of terror that they have thrust upon us? Like we've been waiting for things from Flower Beauty and then they were like, yes, what we're gonna do is release this hideous, hideous palette. I don't even understand how this is. Did y'all, did they watch the movie? Like, Drew, did you watch your own movie? Because. Here's the thing the outsides are like flamey and like, whoo, Charlie's Angels. And the inside is just like, wah, wah, wah. Tarte makes this. Didn't Tarte make this? Doesn't Too Faced make this? Don't they all make this? Like, the, who, who else makes this shit? This is ridiculous. Like, it is genuinely embarrassing. Like, I would be so embarrassed if I put that out. Do you know how embarrassed I would? I would be so embarrassed that I would change my name legally and move to another country. Facts. This is... I... What are we supposed, were we supposed to be excited? Were we, were the neutral babes supposed to be excited? Because they're like, includes eight different shades and finishes. The neutral babes aren't, listen, listen. When Mia, Mia's virtual, she, in here, this is embarrassing, LOL. Babes, correct. When Mia is like, no, uh-uh. There's not even, here's the thing. When you look at it, there's not even like a deep chocolatey brown to like, give you that night out feeling. The, <sighs> the less I say, the better. I'm gonna move on from this because like this is embarrassing. Like I said, you know? Not only would I legally change my name and move to another country, I'd also have my face reconstructed so no one knew it was me. Like it's pretty intense, no thank you. I'm good, I will just hide forever. Nope, throw that in the trash please. Thank you, have a good day. ColourPop came out with their own version of the Horsh palette. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. ColourPop does what ColourPop does, which is make giant beige palettes. And for why? We didn't ask, but they just gave it to us anyway. You know what ColourPop reminds me of? You know how you'd be sitting at the bar back in the olden days before this whole panini went down? You know, you'd be sitting at, sitting at the bar, like minding your business, having a lovely, lovely time. And then some jackhole is like sending you a drink and you're like, no, I'm good. I don't want another drink. And he's just like, well, have it. And you're like, I don't, I don't want the drink. Like, thank you. Like the bartender made it. I know the bartender made it. I just don't want it. I'm finished drinking for the evening. I'm already a little more smashed than I want it to be. So take your drink back. That's what it feels like when ColourPop just keeps coming out with all of this stuff. We didn't ask, but they just keep giving it to us. <sighs> how many of their, how many of their nine pans are in here? Like <laughs> all of them. It's just 
So basically, ColourPop was like, hey, the Gone Matte Mega Palette is new. And it's not new. I swear that we've seen this. I feel like every time a ColourPop palette comes out, I'm like, have we not seen this? Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. We've seen this multiple times. And now I'm seeing it. What? Again, I'm tired. I'm tired, ColourPop. Please release us. Please release us from these chains. Although, I'm not gonna lie, those little blonde lips look cute as fuck. And maybe, you know, I might. I like ColourPop lip products. Okay? Do they dry out incredibly fast? Of course they do. <laughs> but do I like having tons of lip products for no other reason than to add them to my hoard and then be able to pick and choose through there on a daily basis which one will make it to my Hunger Games? Yes. Yes, I do. So, you know, it's ColourPop, once again. And also, it looks ashy as fuck in the, in the swatches. My goddess. If it, if it looks ashy on a whitish arm, babes. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. It's just, this is, I don't, how embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for ColourPop. I'm embarrassed for the person who had to swatch this. I'm embarrassed for the arm in this photo. I'm embarrassed for the arm hairs in this photo. Not because they exist, but because they had to be here for this. I am embarrassed for the shadow in this photo. And finally, I'm embarrassed for whomever took this photo. Like, it's all sad. I would never have done this to myself purposefully. All right, that's it. We got to go. All right, y'all. So Morphe was like... We can't keep letting ColourPop out large palette us. So they got together with um, Sweet Tea and created a Sweet Tea collection. Don't know how this is Sweet Tea at all. Because uh, I feel like they've just never had Sweet Tea because there's no purple. I don't know what tea you were having. Sweet Tea is brown. Maybe the, if you add the lemon, then there's some yellow. I don't understand any of this. It's the 35T Sweetest Tea Artistry Palette. It is 28 dual hairs with 35 warm mega mattes and multi-dimensional shimmers. Create the look you crave with every swipe. No, I don't think that that's true. I just, I don't understand why you would call this sweet tea. Like, I'm, I'm just, I, like, literally, I'm trying to understand it because as a person from the South who regularly drinks sweet tea, this palette does not remind me in any way, shape, or form of sweet tea. Like, these are the colors. You have like the deepest brown, which is, you know, depending on how you mix your sweet tea. It's either at the top or at the bottom. Then you have this kind of like light goldeny brown that's in the middle. And then you have like the top, which has the ice in it, which is like, what is that shade? It's like not tan, but it's like almost clear. It's gorgeous. It's, and then the sunlight hits it, whoosh, and it's just stunning. And then you have the lemon. Some people, I, my mom does it. I don't understand it. But put a lemon in their tea. My mom's is unsweet. So hers definitely looks different than mine because without the sugar, it looks a little bit different. Are they trying to say like sweet tea and dessert? Because sweet tea is the dessert, first of all. I'm trying to think of what dessert that I would be having with, because you should not have donuts with sweet tea. Just FYI, it'll give you the runs. Um, I really, what the fuck? <laughs> Mia, Mia's virtual vanity um, strikes again. They really ran out of inspiration, huh? Yeah. I, I just, I really, I think it's, Jake Ulin, Jakey Ulin said, how is that a sweet tea palette? And that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. This is like such a weird and odd little disappointment. I don't understand. I mean, when is Morphe not disappointing us? <laughs> Morphe is like a cisset man who asks you if you finished and you're like, sure. Uh, so yeah, that is a, obviously another giant Morphe palette. I am finished. I am leaving. I am going to start having a few drinks now that the new year is here and I go to sleep rather early. <laughs> I have to start having alcohol at like 11.30 a.m. so that I can go to bed by five. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you so much for being here. If you have not already, please make sure that you are subscribed to both Emily and Teresa. Make sure you watch their videos as well. And uh, all that stuff's in the description box. I, I know you're like, what the fuck is on your face? It's none of your business.
secret. No, I'm kidding, it's not a secret. Hopefully I will put it in the description box this time. We never know with me, we never know. It depends on where I get on the editing. But I will tell you that I was playing with the Blend Bunny palette, uh, the Blend Bunny blends, and also the Unearthly Cosmetics Poison Apple. So those are the two palettes that I use for this eye look. So that's that's the that on that. All right, y'all, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up so that the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into this algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays. Yeah, without which I truly would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. And in all honesty, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, do you not see me? I'm equipped and ready to snatch yours from you. All right, y'all, XOXO, <laughs> gothic girl. <laughs> Teresa, I cannot believe, to this day, I still cannot believe you have your phone on like regular. Why is it not on night mode? It's always gonna mess me up. Just waiting for that cold front to roll in. Like, yo, look at this. It's not as good as my Michael Myers was. Like you just be staring at this bright ass screen every day. It doesn't bother you. All right, we're gonna move on. Ich muss Eis haben. Ich muss I saw it. I'm gonna just start. <laughs> I must have it. Oh, did I just read German? <laughs> I just cracked myself up so hard. Leave it to Teresa. Fucking okay. <laughs> okay, anyways. Let, somebody let me know. I'm gonna leave this in the bloopers. Somebody tell me if I just read German, because I, I don't even know. <laughs> okay. I'm so sweaty. Wait, wait. Mm. Who's a bad bitch? Me. 